We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Tuesday, December 29th. I got it right. And we're at the Tree of Life in the office right now. And we've got a lovely lady named Courtney here. Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's going great. Cool. So you work at the Tree of Life? I do. I'm the customer services manager at this point. Oh, what is that? Uh, well, basically front desk, reservations, that whole operation. Um, came here three years ago and um, still here and wow. doing our thing. Yeah. Wow, three years ago. Have three you ago. learned a lot in that amount of time? I've learned an amazing amount. I, um, you know, being with Gabriel here and being with all the people that you get to meet, um, and just kind of being immersed in the, the knowledge all the time is, is really amazing. Of course, you have to have a certain knowledge base to be able to talk about the programs here. So. <laughs> right, right, right. So I've done a lot of that. And, um, yeah, I did. I actually did a juice feast while I was here, too. Oh. So you guys are doing that now, and I've done yeah. that, too. Um, oh, cool. And, yeah. <laughs> cool. So, um, you're into the raw food diet? I am. I've been eating raw foods for about four years now. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Pretty much all raw food while I'm here, while I was here at the tree, and then I had like a year transition before I, I came here that I was just playing around with it, and I was a vegan, but not, not all raw yet. Wow, so you're, you're 100% raw now? Mostly. Not, it depends on the time of year. Cool. During the summer around here, or most of the year, I should say, I pretty much am. During the winter, not not always 100%. Sometimes I have some quinoa, stuff like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So what got you started on this path? Like, um, Well, when I was in high school, the first thing, the first initiation into any of this was I saw the movie Super Size Me, which it was just because it was popular at the time. Um, and I was a, a swimmer and a water polo player, so I was an athlete, and I was doing all kinds of fast food all the time, just because that's what we did. And so after that, I start, started eating less, less and less fast food and less and less processed food, and then um, the next step was I read the book Fast Food Nation ah. by Eric Schlosser. started doing even less processed food, and so by this time I was still omnivorous, but I was doing a lot more organic food, really no fast food at all. Um, and then... A little later, I picked up the book, um, The Food Revolution, by uh -huh. John Robbins, and I went vegan overnight. I didn't even have a vegetarian phase. It was just, went vegan. Um, and then about a couple months later, I learned about raw food through Eating for Beauty. I did ah. both and started playing around with it, and then um, came here a year later after that. And here you are now? And here I am. Wow. Any differences you noticed? Did you have any health challenges or anything like that, or you just did um, it for your health? Yeah. I Not a lot. I had kind of chronic fatigue type stuff going on. It was never diagnosed, but it was one of those things where I would go to bed and sleep all night, you know, usually nine, ten hours, get up, be really tired, um, and then go to school, go to practice and all that, and then be pretty much ready for a nap at like two. Really, really tired. So the energy level thing was huge for me. Really big shift. I never feel tired, never have any kind of issue with energy levels. Um, when I went raw, I had a lot of extra weight on me that I gained after high school, just from not exercising as much and all of that. So since I've been raw, I've lost about 45 pounds or so. Whoa. Yeah. So that's kind of been one of the major shifts for me. And then otherwise, just overall, you know, feeling of well-being and health. And then, of course, the, you know, the benefits spiritually and otherwise are always there as well. Can you talk about the spiritual benefits you've experienced? Or? <laughs> well, um, I mean, I wasn't, when I went, got into raw foods, I was not on any kind of um, spiritual path or any necessarily had any interest in that. Um, but kind of partially just through being here where that's a part of the, the, um, the Program, focus. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, just eating more raw foods and beginning to feel lighter and beginning to feel more connected, um, kind of just having the feeling of it versus you know, mental constructs of what it is to kind sure. of lead a spiritual life or feel a, a feeling of connectedness to the divine or the oneness or whatever you want to call it. Is it just it just began to happen. It wasn't something that I, I was trying to make happen. It was just a natural evolution. Um, so that continues to progress, and I'm really thankful for that. And, you know, in comparison, the physical for me, it's really, it's not even, 
that much of an interest, you know, compared to just the difference in connectedness and, you know, creative inspirations and other kinds of things that come with a, a clearer diet and body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, uh, <clears throat> do you have any, like, future plans that you want to talk about, or do you, do you have any future plans? Like, how pl do you plan on working here for a long time? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm very open to whatever is meant to come my way. Um, I've been doing a lot more as far as speaking. Um, earlier this year, I went to 105 Degrees, which is in Oklahoma City, and I spoke at their grand opening huh. on reversing diabetes and some you know, other diseases and that kind of thing. Oh, cool. Really enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be in New York City for the, um, what's it called? The New Life Expo. And I'm going to speak on raw foods there. So oh. I'm kind of getting into more of that, and I'm really enjoying it. Still have cool. plenty of, you know, skills that I need to finesse with public speaking, but I really I really like it. I really like that form of sharing. Um, and then I have a blog as well. Wow. And um, I just write about Life at the Tree of Life, and it's kind of like a journalistic style of blog, and I just write what's going on with me and pictures and um so i'd like to put more effort into that and um i love writing so kind of just feeling out everything but i mean as far as life here i love it as well cool okay i, I always ask this big question are you a single woman <laughs> uh yes yes i am <laughs> yes well there you have it guys <laughs> can people contact you on there by chance uh, well, I mean, you can leave a message, like a comment, and then if you want to contact me, I'll, I'll write the person back, because I get the, I get their contact information when people comment. Right on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, how often do you eat at the tree? Like, how often do you eat their food, like, in there? Pretty much every day, but cool. I eat mostly spirulina salads. I'm kind of known for it around here. I, uh, after I did my juice feast, I really got into, I just had this craving for spirulina, and that was, like, two years ago, and I'm still eating a lot of it. Um, I used to go through a bottle of those Health Force Nutritionals in like maybe a week. Whoa. <laughs> now it's like once, one every month or something like that. But, um, wow. So I kind of, it, it's evolved to eating pretty simply, you know, just because when you're right. around gourmet food so much, you know, after a while you just don't need it that much. So I mostly just do like salads and nut milks and juices and that kind of nice. thing. Nice. Occasionally an entree or two. I go up there all the time, and the staff is always <laughs> eating spirulina salads in their dressing. The spirulina's in their dressing. Are you the one who got everyone to do that? Yeah. Really? I, I yeah, I can take the credit for that. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I've definitely converted many a people over. <laughs> they always come, and they're like, that just looks disgusting, and I'm never going to try that. And then you just, you have to make it the right way, and get the right ratios in there. And a lot of people, they get hooked. Yeah. Can you give us the recipe? Um, yeah, well, it's basically any kind of greens and sprouts would be the base, um, and then you could add things that are more neutral, neutral tasting, like celery, um, cucumbers, that kind of thing. Um, and then you would just put an oil on it. Pretty much any kind of oil will work. My favorite is olive and hemp oil. How much of it? What's the um, ratios? Well, I generally put enough where it's all covered, but it's not, like, uh, goopy. You okay. Know, so not, not enough where... There would be like uh, oil accumulating at the bottom, but enough where everything's got a fairly, you know, it's got, you can taste the olive oil on most, most of your bites. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> and then, um, you know, enough salt, I guess, however much people like, but obviously minimal salt is better. Um, and then spirulina, you can kind of play around with the ratios, you know, because people like them in different proportions. Some people like more goopy salads, some people like more yeah. light ones. What it just tastes amazing. Like, what? It, how can you describe it? Like, why is it so good? You know, good? for a lot of people, at least for me, and a lot of people agree that it kind of fulfills like a pasta craving, like oh. kind of like a cheesy pasta. Because a lot of times, that that fusion of like the the oil and the salt and the spirulina kind of makes almost like a cheesy type consistency. And then oh. when you put it on sprouts and greens, it's like it's kind of like that. At least that's what it is for me, and, and a lot of people agree with that. So. Wow. Check it out everybody, in the cafe today, out of all days I just come up here, they've created a spirulina salad. That just looks incredible. Awesome. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, every time I go up there all the staff have like green mouths all over the place. Alright everybody, so we've got... Courtney Poole. And Matt Monarch, and we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.